Hi friends, I hope you all are doing great. It's me, Nikki, here to share with you my tips on white dishware, why I love them, how I use them, how to shop for them, and I'm going to answer your questions that I have been asked in reference to white dishes. I also want to say that this video is sponsored by Blue Apron, and Blue Apron is a service that can, you know, help you get out of that meal planning rut. What they do is they send fresh ingredients to your home so that you can create those chef-inspired meals. So I'm going to cook for you today and share several white dish tips with you. So let's get started. Okay friends, first let's talk about why I love white dishes. The best way that I can explain it is white dishes is like a blank canvas for me. It's like the kitchen blank canvas. When I'm cooking and I put my food on white dishes, it just ups the value of the food so much. And this can be great for your family because you can take simple peanut butter and toast and make it look fabulous on a white plate just by sitting that on the white plate. And this can help the meal look more appetizing to your family. And you put a lot of effort into cooking and even if you don't put a lot of effort into cooking, it can make your cooking look better but it just is a great way to present your food to your family now one thing that I cannot stand that is a real pet peeve for me is a dirty plate so I do encourage you when you're serving your family I know sometimes we're rushing but just simply clean off that plate because that really shows a lot of love and that's a huge impact with your presentation the other reason that I love white dishware is the versatility. And I've mentioned this before because you can have your white dishware and use it all year round for Christmas, for Easter, for everyday use. And it really gives you a lot of bang for your buck. And I do have this set here that has blue in it. It's the only set that I have that has color. And I can incorporate it with my white dishware if I ever want to give a different look for maybe Easter. Along with I do have this set here that gives a more formal vibe that I can add with my white dishware along with my stemware. I do have stemware that has color in it and it goes perfectly with my white dishware. This blue I tend to use outdoors during the spring and summer for entertaining and it coordinates well with my white dishes and the white dishes really help the food pop. So speaking of food, let's talk about apron, blue apron and how they deliver those fresh ingredients so that you can make those meals for your family. And like I said, if you're in that rut of meal planning, this is a great way to get out of it. You know, try it one time and see what you think. But they have different plans. You can have the two person plan, four person plan. So it, you know, accommodates different sizes. And the great thing about it is they have these cards here with the recipe on it. I'm going to the, do the miso butter chicken. But it's so simple because the pictures are there for each step so you can see along the way how you're doing to make sure everything is flowing the way it should flow. This is great for someone who's really not a great cook. You can easily walk your way through this. It's very simple. And even if you are a big time cook, this is great for giving you some options to try some new things. One thing that I really like about Blue Apron is that there's no commitment. You can skip or cancel the service at any time, which is great for me because I like to be flexible with that. And the shipping is always free and you don't have to be home when it arrives because they package it in a way that your food is good and safe until you can get home from work. And what they're going to do is for my first 50 friends out there viewers, you get three meals on your first Blue Apron order for free. So definitely give it a try. The meals are delicious. They're fun to make and I think you will enjoy it. And I'll be sure to put the code in the description box below the video. So now let's talk about keeping those white dishes beautiful. You know I get a lot of questions about this because after time scratches can get on your white dishware and I simply use bar keepers and rub it in with a soft cloth or baking soda and it does the job. Okay friends I want to share some shopping tips with you as far as purchasing your white dishes. Now one, if you're just starting out, I recommend getting a box set that has the saucers, the spoons, the cups. That's a great way to start and very budget friendly. Another thing that you can do if you're more established and already have dishes is sell your old dishes that you no longer want and then start your new collection and go to places like Ross, TJ Maxx and things like that. They have beautiful sets of great quality white dishes that can give you a great start and definitely don't forget grocery stores nowadays. They have beautiful, nice, great everyday dishware in there and it tends to be white especially in the United Kingdom when I lived in the UK I used to love Sainsbury and I used to buy all my little white dishes in there so definitely don't discount that along with buy a few pieces that are textured that have a little design in them they are still white but they have a little design and that can bring a lot of fun to your white dishware Okay, another question that I'm asked is about the tones of white dishes because some tend to be bright white, some tend to be bone white, and how do you keep the consistency with your dishes? And basically, I don't even worry about it. I buy what I love, and it all goes together for me. You know, even when I do my tablescapes, a lot of times I'm mixing bone color white with bright white. As you can see here, the bowl has a more bone china tone to it, and the plate is a bright white. But that that's okay. But if you want to have them blend to an exact measurement or 
for a measurement for exact look you what you can do is you can buy some pieces that are two-toned and what I mean by that they incorporate the bright white with some of the bone white such as this cup here and then when you do your tablescapes they'll blend beautifully now you can also when you're shopping take a little piece of the white dishware that you already have with you to the store so that you can match up in the store so if you want to make sure that your plates match your cup or your saucers then take it and match it up in the store so friends, I hope you have enjoyed what I shared with you today in reference to white dishes and blue apron. Please let me know if you have any questions. I love hearing from you, so I love it if you make a comment below. Also, I am doing a huge giveaway on my website at homonikki.com right now where you can get a white dish collection that I personally put together for the winner. And I'm so excited about this giveaway, so definitely check that out. And please don't forget to check out the link below for blue apron. Definitely take advantage of that. I hope you all have a beautiful day. I will see you at the next one. And this is Nikki saying goodbye.